Hello there, how are you this wonderful afternoon? Well, it's been a soggy, soggy week since the last time we spoke. Goodness me. So the last time we were just getting onto the Corran Ferry, weren't we, up at Fort William? After that cycle, that mini cycle tour, which was very nice. And I don't mind telling you, that took a couple of days to recover. So back to work I went and we plodded on through what was a pretty soggy week. Um, quite a challenging week, but very, very pleased to get to Friday and the weekend. I just put my boot in a in a gully. That'll test the Gore-Tex, won't it? Anyway, Friday, and what an absolutely fantastic way to start the weekend it is. It's great to have you along. So I set off from the village of Luss around about 30 minutes ago, parked the car up at the bottom of Glen Luss and just having a steady wander up this single track past a couple of houses and the plan is to climb up and camp on a 2000 footer today. Now that all sounds really easy but it isn't going to be because whilst I've obviously been trying to get a bit of cycle training in because I've got a couple of bike packing events coming up later this month and into September I've not been doing a great deal of climbing. Well, certainly not since the Sky Trail. So just plodding along, I'm going to take my time getting up this hill and uh, hopefully reasonably early, and then I can cool down and chill out and then everything will be righted again after what's been an interesting week. So it's not going to be long before we get the first look at this hill and after what is a gentle, gentle climb up to the foot slopes, it's then around about probably 1,500 feet straight uphill. So a good test. So I don't know if you can see that in the distance, I think you probably can. But that's going to be our home tonight. My gum, that looks steep. So it's just about, it's just off to half past three now, so I've given myself plenty of time to get up there. I'm not going to get up that fast and uh, I don't want to overheat but the closer I get to it the gentler it's becoming it's it's steep but it don't look quite as steep as it did back there and this is a nice walk in this is fine so all's good there's no rushes there it's Friday for goodness sakes some good views from behind us now back down Glen Luss and over Luss and you can see down across Loch Lomond over to the Conic Hill and uh, Balmaha over in the distance and right down in the south you can just make out Cameron House Marina it's a beautiful beautiful afternoon and so far the going's been okay so I'm up to the wall now and uh, just gonna cross over this wall and then continue upwards I'm around about Seven, just 800 feet so still another 1200 foot and uh, it's so far so good nice breeze as well 1500 feet now above uh, Loch Lomond and um, not too far now from the top 
of the hill I'm going to stay on tonight. And you got Bendu just over there. Oh, Lomond looking fantastic from here. It's going to look even better from the top. And I'm on the low slopes of this uh, of this ridge now. It basically just a kind of steady gradient up and then onto the top. And uh, I'll show you where we are up there. Not too far now, just another couple hundred feet. Uh, sort of like a light last steep kick up and then we're onto the ridge and then up to the uh, the cairn and then we can settle down can't we but uh, still offering beautiful beautiful views up to the top of Berneich and up over the uh, all around these are the Lomond Hills Loch Lomond down in the distance there looking resplendent Right up there you can see Ben Arthur in the middle Ben Eam and then Ben at the side Ben Lomond just over there Fantastic But anyway there's not a lot of camping spots up here you can see it's like a ridge um, But that's where I'm going to put it right at the side of the cairn um, there is wind forecast tonight, quite gusty, so change of tent. It's the very, very bomb-proof Lux Hex Peak back out. So I learned a bit about that last camp in the uh, in the Xmid Pro that uh, any, I mean, if it's exposed like this with the side high sides and uh, it's going to flap, it's going to really, really flap. And there is a lot. I mean, there's no wind now. It's absolutely fabulous at the moment, but. Uh, is due to blow up and then there's more rain to come over tonight so i thought discretion the best part of valor here because i want a decent night's sleep i've also changed my airbed as well because that decathlon uh, airbed anybody want to buy one so confirmed it is 2303 feet so it's 3000 sorry 300 feet more than i thought it was no wonder it went on forever Anyway, that's it all set up and I've got my Big Agnes with me because I want that comfortable tonight's sleep. The, I've got two Big Agnes pads, both wide, so one's for me and one's for Mrs. Boardman. And um, they're both fairly, well, they're heavy in, you know, hill climbing and bike packing terms. I think they're around about 800, 900 grams or something like that. And uh, so I have got my eye on a Big Agnes lightweight one, which is the Big Agnes UL Zoom, I think it is, and um, I think that comes in at around about 450 grams. Not that anybody's counting you on this now.
7 o'clock, tea time. Quarter to nine now and uh, I popped out about 15 minutes ago and that wind is absolutely freezing cold. So all shut up and um, there's like a clag starting to roll in now which I kind of expected so it's turned into like a mizzle out there, it's pretty miserable. So all closed up, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna run a time lapse if you don't get blown over and that'll bring night time. So, um, I'm going to pick this back up with you in the morning. I'm going to finish listening to this bit of music now and then get me head down. So, thanks for watching so far, and I'll see you in the morning. Morning. It's half past seven and it was a wet one. So very windy last night until the early hours and then it's calmed down a little bit but a lot of rain. There's nothing to see outside. But I'm gonna get up and just stretch my back and my legs a little bit so you can come with me and we can see what we can see if you want. Well as you can see there is nothing to see. I've been laying my tent for 10 minutes or so and it does keep getting brighter so I think it is shifting but um, I think we're going to have to make his way down through it when that time comes. I don't think it's going anywhere quickly and there is more rain forecast. So I think the plan is Get a coffee and get something to eat and, um, and then I'll slowly pack this up. All packed up and uh, well, ready to wander into the mists. I don't know if there's anything else. Uh, I'm going to, I will not can't show you anything. It's probably going to be very low lying. So we'll probably finish it here. Um, really enjoyed the camp. It was nice. Good to get the XP out as usual. It was uh, it's nice to revisit old tents, isn't it? And I had a comfortable night. It was okay. Um, tent stood up fantastic to the wind and the rain, and, and that's exactly why I brought it. And a brilliant decision. I'm patting myself on the back about that. Yeah, a couple hours back down to the car now, so uh, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you've enjoyed it. Right, thumbs up. Glad to have you along. See you next time. Bye for the new.